Today I'm going to talk about tempo. I've had a lot of people write in and want me to talk about tempo. So I'm going to tell you how I like to work on my tempo and hopefully it will help you with your tempo. Uh, keep in mind, tempo is a very important part of the golf swing. You always see Fred Couples or Ernie Els golf swings, how they look so nice and smooth and they have really good tempo. But also in their golf swings they have a good sequence of motion. That means that their lower body is really starting their downswing first. So when they get, when they're in their backswing and they're starting down, their lower body starting, that's why it looks like they're in really good tempo. Here are some things that I work on to try to get in good tempo. The first drill that I always go to if I feel like my tempo is off is feet together drill, okay? And what I'll do is I'll take my six iron or my seven iron and I'll try to hit at about a hundred yards. So I take my normal stance, bring my feet together, and then I just try to swing nice and smooth, not trying to hit it hard. And that's probably going to go 100 yards. And I'll just keep doing that until I feel like I'm trying to slow the pace of my swing down. Okay? Because typically, what we all hear is we hear that we get a little quick. And typically, the reason why we get a little quick is because we're trying to hit the ball really far. Then the next drill I'm going to do is also with my 6 iron and my 7 iron is... I'm going to try to hit the ball half distance, or I normally hit my 6 iron, say 170 to 180 yards, so maybe I'll try to hit it 120 yards instead. So I set up to the ball normal, and then I just try to swing nice and easy back and through. Now this is, I'll show you what my normal speed swing is right now. So this will be normal speed. Okay, so that would be normal speed right there. So now I'll do another half speed swing again. Okay, so that's my half speed swinger trying to hit my six iron 120 yards versus 100 and 70, 180 yards. Now, here's a little bonus. When you're in club golf and practicing in front of the video cameras at club golf, what I would like to see people do more often is try to swing at half speed. Because I see people always trying to work on their swing at full speed. But keep this in mind. If you can't produce a swing at half speed, how are you going to produce a swing that you're looking for at full speed? So when you're practicing, even in drills, I would always work on this half speed, trying to feel the positions that we want you to get into. Now, typically what we see with most people is we're always working on the impact position. So we're always working on trying to get that shaft leaning forward, trying to get the hips open, trying to get the shoulders open, okay? So you can work on trying to get in the impact or whatever drill your instructor is having you work on and then go into half speed and say, okay, I'm going to try to feel this at half speed, trying to get in the right positions. Because if you can't do it at half speed, how are you going to do it at full speed? If you start to see in the video that you're kind of getting close in half speed, go ahead and try to increase the speed a little. But the minute that you start to come down and you start to see your hip stop and you start to see your left wrist cup or your left elbow break, go back to your half speed. And don't be afraid to take a lot of practice swings at half speed. Always trying to watch yourself. So right now I'm pretending the, the TV is right in front of me and I'm trying to watch myself swing, trying to get in those positions that I want to get into. Okay? So when you're practicing, really work hard on that half speed. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us and good luck with that tip.